In this video, we are going to see how to create our first application in Unity 3D for MetaQuest 3. First of all, you have to create a new project. So you start the Unity Hub, you select 3D, you give it a name, you select the location, and then you create the project. At this point, you click on File, Build Settings, and here you're going to configure the project to run on Android, which is the operating system of Quest 3. If you don't have it installed, you click on Install. If you click on Install, this will open this pop-up window in which you can select the platform and install. When the installation is finished, you will have to restart Unity Hub and the Unity project. Now you can double check that the installation was successful. If you click on Android, you should see something like this. In texture compression, make sure that you select ASTC and click on Add Open Scene. This will add the current scene to the application. Now link your headset to your computer and press the power button. Now we turn on the headset and we have to click on Quest Link. This way we are going to link the computer to our headset. And in Unity 3D, the headset will be finally recognized. Now let's double check in Unity that the headset is recognized. So we, all, we go to Build Settings and we should see Quest 3 over there. Okay, now we have to configure the project. So we click on Windows, Package Manager. We select Unity Registry and we look for this package, Unity OpenXR Meta, and we install it. After the installation, we have to restart Unity. Now we can configure the project. We click on Edit, Project Settings. We click on XR Plugin Management in the Android tab. We select OpenXR. We select MetaQuest Feature Group. Click on OpenXR. And here you're going to Add and you select Oculus Touch Controller Profile. Then you click on Project Validation and you click Fix All. This will fix all the errors if they are fixable, of course. Now you can close the project settings. Now select the main camera and delete it. Okay, click on Game Object, XR, XR Origin. This will add the XR Origin to the scene. You select it and you change the Tracking Origin mode to Floor. Now click on Game Object, XR, AR Session. Now you have to import a 3D model to the scene. I already have one. So I drag and drop it in scenes. It's an FBX and I drag and drop it to the current scene. You can see here is the coin block from Super Mario. And here you will have to adjust the position because it's exactly at the same position of the camera. And if you don't put it on front of the camera, you won't see it. Okay, now we have the 3D model. We have the right settings. And the next step is to create a build. You click on File, Build Settings, and here, if you try to create a build, you might have an error like this. To fix this, you have to go in Project Settings, Player, then you scroll down until Configuration. At this point, you look for Active Input Handling, and you select Input System Package, which is basically new. And of course, you have to restart Unity one more time. At this point, you return to the build settings and you select build and run. You will save the APK application and uh, probably by now the headset in, is in standby, so you will have to turn it on again. 
and then you build and run again. When it finished the build and you will run it, you will see something like this. So the coin block is visible on a black background. Don't forget to check the description of this video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!